please welcome to the stage His Excellency Dr. Sultan Al Jaber, COP28 President and UAE Special Envoy for Climate Change. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, colleagues, welcome to the United Arab Emirates, to Dubai, and to COP28. Allow me to start first by saying how pleased I am to be surrounded with so many friends, colleagues, and familiar faces, people that I've either worked with or interacted with over the years. It gives me a lot of comfort and confidence to know that I have this kind of friends that will come and support our real, true, genuine, and sincere commitment in helping address the global climate challenge. Allow me also to begin by thanking my very dear friend, Mike Bloomberg, and the Bloomberg Philanthropies for co-hosting today's summit. I thank you, sir, from the bottom of my heart for your passion, your dedication, and your commitment. Mike is not only a great humanitarian or a great friend of the planet. He has also been a true and a real friend to me. And I've experienced that in many occasions and in many incidents. I thank you again for being there, sir. Let me also thank everyone here in this room and those who are not able to make it. The mayors, the governors, the subnational leaders who have traveled from all over the world for this first summit of local leaders ever held at a COP. I believe this summit can and will provide an excellent opportunity to showcase climate action at the local level and take great ideas to be scaled up. And today I am pleased to launch one of those ideas in partnership with Mike Bloomberg. The Coalition for High Ambition Multi-Level Partnerships for Climate Action, or CHAMP, CHAMP is designed to better align and connect climate responses at local, regional, and national level. This initiative recognizes that when climate disasters strike, it is local leaders who have to respond to it first. And it is designed to make sure that local leaders have the right resources and they're equipped enough to cater for reinforcing climate resilience. And I'm delighted that 62 countries have already signed up and I continue to encourage others to join this very important partnership. Friends and colleagues, it is going to take a fully inclusive approach to keep our North Star of 1.5 within reach. And if we're serious about truly, genuinely, and sincerely interested in addressing 
the growing, growing climate impacts, there's no other way around it but to adopt a comprehensive, holistic, progressive, pragmatic, inclusive approach. And I know I keep repeating inclusive. And I know I've repeated myself a number of times, and I've been told once that I sound like a broken record when it comes to being inclusive. But let's just come to terms with some realities here. This is not the first COP. And this is not the first time where the world gathers to help address a global challenge. But you can't come to address a global challenge by applying differences or by allowing differences to get in the middle and detour you from the real reason of why you're all here. And that's why since the beginning of this journey and the preparations of COP28, we've been very clear, in fact, crystal clear, on the fact that we will do it by underpinning everything with full inclusivity, and I hope that we have been able to demonstrate that to everyone. I know, and I've seen, and I've experienced local leaders representing many cities, and counties, and districts around the world really step up. And I've seen them up their game and their efforts in helping address such challenges. More than 1,000 cities have joined the race to zero. Their commitments alone could reduce global emissions by at least 1.5 gigatons annually by 2030. Yes, it is a local action, but I promise you, it has a big global impact. And that is exactly what the world needs. Every step must count, and every step must resonate globally. Our objectives must be big, and we must start thinking big. And that is what we aim to achieve at COP28, big results. Results that are meaningful, that are practical, and that will help restore faith and trust in the process, and that will deliver the good news that the world desperately needs today. And I am counting on everyone to help the COP28 presidency and the secretariat and all relevant stakeholders to deliver against this noble cause of our interest in delivering the good news to the world. I really hope that you take advantage of this summit at COP28, and I really hope that you will do the maximum you can to help us all raise ambition as our outcomes coming out of COP28. Please don't hesitate to share your experiences with your counterparts from all over the world. Because the best hope we have of making change globally is to keep taking action locally and daily. Don't try to delay any action. And please, enough of small steps. We need giant leaps. I aim to deliver the most ambitious response to the global stock take. Please do what you can. Thank you. Thank you.